hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to talk about incremental refresh in power bi and i will walk you through step by step setup in power bi so first of all uh, what is incremental refresh and how does it different from the scheduled refresh so as it's in name the incremental refresh is only refresh incremental data meaning it has a two section here as i showed in this picture when the first time you refresh at that time it gets all the data so for example i have three years of data in my database and it's going to get all three years data and then once you have that historical section filled as you mentioned in your setup so for example i said my three years data should goes in historical data then it stores that in your data model and that doesn't change then if i have a everyday refresh then every day it gets only daily data and keep topping up on the historical data and that's the way your model has a fresh data while in a scheduled refresh whenever refresh triggers at that time it gets all the data and so compared to the incremental refresh the scheduled refresh uh, takes long time so that is the benefit you get in uh, incremental refresh over the scheduled refresh that this is much quicker and so it also uses less resources compared to the scheduled refresh so that is the major difference now it only supports though uh, to the data sources like relational data source because we are going to create a date parameters for this incremental refresh time window so start date and end date so your parameters are going to push the date filter uh, on the data source side and relational data source allows that to filter the date column from table so that is why it only supports the data source like the relational database now it also supports for the power bi pro power bi premium per user power bi premium or power bi embedded models so you need to keep that in mind and if you are happy with those two limitations then you can go ahead and set up incremental refresh now let's talk about the process so the process as i mentioned we we are going to create the date parameters in power query editor and apply to that uh, table column uh, those parameters and then in power bi desktop define the incremental refresh policy and then you can publish the report to power bi service and after publishing a report you need to connect it to the data gateway to refresh the uh, semantic data model so without a delay let's get started i'm going to open up power bi but before that if you are first time here on my channel and you haven't subscribed my channel yet then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as i upload the video on power bi regularly on this channel so let's get started okay so here i am in my power bi desktop and my data is in sql server so i'm going to click on sql server and here is my server name and i'm going to click on okay and i'm going to use this adventure works dw 2019 data set so from there i'm going to use my uh, fact table so fact internet sales and then i'm going to use let me see sales territory okay so these two table i'm going to click on transform so it can get us to the power query editor and here both tables loaded in power query editor here is my order date and i'm going to use that for filter our data so let's create a parameter first for that from the home tab i'm going to click on this manage parameters and new parameters and here we are going to create 
range start and range end parameters. Now the names must be this name and it is case sensitive as well. So range start and you can put it the same thing in a description as well because it's a self explanatory and type must be the date and time. So date time, the suggested value, any value and then the current value. So my data is from 2011 to 2013. So I'm going to get uh, for now a six months data. So which is 2011 and I'm going to get from uh, 1st of January. That is my start date. However, this range start and range end are parameters. So like they are a place value holder. And so it will, when we actually refresh first time after that, it's going to use these for the new dates. So you can give here any date, but I wanted to give this date because when I get my visual in Power BI desktop after this, so we can see some data. So that is my start date and the new parameter is my uh, range end. parameter and my current value is 2011 and then I'm going to put it maybe or let's put it 2013 actually and I'm going to put it on the June and um, 30th June so end of June so that is my uh, end range and I'm going to put it here 2013 as well so it's first half of 2013 range and click OK. So now we have our parameters and as you can see it has the timestamp as well. Now I'm going to select this fact internet sales table again and we need to filter our order date because that is our column that we are going to use it for refresh and we need to filter our column using these parameters. So now we can see here date and time filters. I'm going to select only equals right now. Then uh, we can change it. So I'm going to select is after or equal to. And from this box, I'm going to select parameter. And we have two parameters and first one is range start. So it's already selected and then my end date is is before and again a parameter and that has to be my range end and I'm going to click OK. So now you can see that our date is filtered from 2013 first January and now we are done in the Power Query editor. So uh, we created two parameters and filter our fact table order date with those parameters. Now I'm going to close and apply. And we are back to the Power BI desktop. Now let's create a visual from this date range. So I just took a bar chart and I'm going to put it order date and then sales amount. And as you can see here, let me increase the X axis font size. And as you can see here, now we have 2013 January to June data because we filter with the uh, range parameters. Okay, now let's do the incremental refresh setup here in Power BI Desktop. So for that, I'm going to this fact table internet sales. I'm going to right click on that and click on incremental refresh. And now we have this window. So the first uh, thing you need to select the table. So in our case, it's already selected. And now you need to enable this. And there is a section uh, it's saying that archive data starting. So this is our historical data setup. So in our case, let's say if I say three years of data and then I'm going to say years before refresh date. 
so this three years worth of data i want to put it in a historical data set and then incremental refresh data starting so i'm going to say maybe let's say one and the values i'm going to select a day so one day of data every day so here i can see the two nodes here under the historical data we selected three years after that it says data imported from 1st january 2021 to the 4th of february 2024 so what it does that it creates this three year window from your today's date so today is a uh, 5th of february and so it created this three year window for historical data where in my case i do not have this historical data from 20, 2021 to 24 i have 2011 12 and 13 so if i put it 13 here then i will have all these three years data the historical data and then incremental is every day so the data will be incrementally refreshed from 5th of the February, only one day, so one day data uh, will be in an incremental refresh. Now, the second step, the third step is choose the optional setting. So, we don't need to choose, but we can choose this optional setting if we want. And then fourth step is review and apply. So, this is the review. It says that 13 years before the, re before the refresh date, so from today, it's back to the 13 years that is going to go in archive data and our incremental refresh is one day before the refresh date so that is the one day data is in refresh incremental refresh okay so i'm going to click on apply and now our incremental uh, refresh setup in power bi desktop is done and i need to save this file and then i can publish this file so let me save it i'm going to publish it straight away so it will allow me to save it so save and i'm going to say incremental refresh my file name and save and now i need to choose my workspace so i'm going to choose this my workspace which is premium uh, per user workspace and select so our uh, report is published now and i'm going to click on the link to open the power bi service And here we are in Power BI service and we have our board from January 2013 to June uh, 2013 uh, data in it. And let's go back to the workspace. So this is the workspace. And as you can see that it published incremental refresh report and then semantic data model. And semantic data model is refreshed at 1028, which is current time. Let's refresh this. Now you can see that I have this little triangle here. And when I click on this, it says that the something went wrong. Schedule refresh has been disabled. Uh, please try again and so on. So I'm going to close it. This is because my if I click on this my previous report semantic data model and if I, if I refresh it, it refresh it, but this one does not. So why? Because when I click on this schedule refresh, and I'm here on the semantic model and where I can set up my refresh. So because this new uh, semantic data model does not have a gateway setup and that is why it cannot refresh so when i come here on this page and gateway and cloud connection then i can see here now i already have my data gateway if you do not have then you can uh, watch my previous video that how to download and set up your gateway i will leave the link in the description and 
for now i'm going to click on this triangle and i'm going to i have to add this uh, data set to the gateway so i'm going to add it add to the data gateway and that's the way your data set connection is going to be made and you can refresh your data model so my connection name is adventure works dw 2019 that is my data set so i gave i given that name and the connection type sql server already there the server name already is there and the database name is already there the authentic authentication method you need to select that in my case it's windows and i need to give my username and password and then i need to create this connection okay so all this is okay privacy level everything is okay so it need to create and now it is created when i go back here again and see then my connection is created now i still need to select it so i'm going to select it and then apply so now your uh, ink refresh like uh, semantic data model gateway connection updated and now if we go back to the sales and if we refresh this semantic data model so first time you need to refresh it manually and it's going to take a longer time because it has 13 years worth of data so it's going to take a time so i'm going to click on refresh and now as you can see here it is refreshing it will take few minutes so now our semantic model is refreshed for first time and let's go back to the report again So as you can see that I have the uh, January to June data here I can see and let's refresh the page here. So now we have 13 years of window data which is our historical data and because I only have 3 years worth of data it shows here 3 years of data and our uh, schedule now is everyday uh, refresh so guys this is all about the incremental refresh if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching